Maybe old ad today, a newspaper insert from Kmart. Gone but not forgotten, Kmart. And Kmart is having dynamic dollar days. So this is from 1981, 42 years ago. A minimum wage average nationally is $3.35. How much of your check would you have spent on things you might want or your family might want? It came out. Let's say you had a really good job and you made $6.07 and you doubled the minimum wage. Take a look at the prices. You could get a 12 inch globe from Rand McNally for $10. Two children's books for $7. There is a Crayola foldable book. Crayola color ropes, two for $3. A giant coloring book, 448 pages for a dollar only. Occasion gift wrap pants for a dollar. Two fifty count paper pants for a dollar. Now this one they have a limit, so this must have been a really good deal. One hundred and eighty paper plates and two hundred and fifty paper napkins from Northern. A dollar pack, but you could only get two. Bridge cards. Three for a dollar. Bridge card needs something different, at least in Michigan. Mm -hmm. That's the plain bridge. A ram tote bag with a plastic ring, two for three dollars. Plastic stapler. It says save a dollar. I don't know if it was a dollar. A desk caddy with cook bones. For a dollar for the public plastic and two for a dollar envelopes. Eight spools of thread for a dollar. Eight of them. That's, that's incredible. Two pairs of scissors in different sizes, two for three dollars. And you could get Santa Flush. A dollar each, but that was limit to disinfectant spray. That looks like some kind of a fake Lysol. Limit two. That was a dollar each. So the cleaners look at there's that product, Love My Carpet. You know, it was probably just scented. Baking soda. Limit two. Two for three dollars. And this is a good one too. Four for three dollars bathroom cleaner. It was probably like a fake scrubbing bubble. And this is handy cleaners. And it was like a fake Windex or toilet bowl cleaner. It says two for a dollar. And there was a limit on that as well. A box of food and staple. Is it dryer sheets? I think. Two for three dollars. A five quart bucket of sponges. Save a dollar. Who knows how much it costs? Sponges or brush. You get a pack of four sale of sponges or a scrub brush. Two for a dollar. Easy wipes. Two for a dollar. Or little tree air fresheners. I think that those are. They're not trees, but I think that they are some other kind of shape. Five for two dollars. Two for a dollar toilet brushes. And then those little cakes that you put on the side of the toilet. I don't ever use these. Four for a dollar. Three ounce bowl deodorizer.
I was thinking about Kmart when I found this ad. And I live right near the first physical Kmart store, first location ever built in the United States in 1962. They built it in Golden City, Michigan. And I need a little picture of what it looks like now. And it's sad. They tore it down in 2017. They closed it in 2017. They tore it down during the pandemic. And they haven't built anything there yet. It's 2023. But anyway. I remember this flat, Revlon Flex Balsam Shampoo and Conditioner. Three for four dollars. That's a good deal. It was worth it. This was in the two for a dollar. You get 300 cosmetic cuts, foam rollers, or nail polish remover. Two for a dollar. These were all a dollar each. You could get 60 band aids. 8 ounce rose milk lotion. Remember that? There's the pink one and then what was the orange one? It was the rose milk pink or the all family formula. Maybe it was like a cocoa butter or something. And then a liquid soap refill. So any of those were a dollar each. It seems like these were kind of like maybe knockoff of purple essences. But they were only a dollar, a golden emerald, herbal, or strawberry shampoo, or a cream rice. It was a little bit more, and it was a far smaller bottle. That was worth 32 ounces. These were 11, two for three dollars a part. Rave soft hairspray, a dollar each. A six pack of two ply toilet paper. It doesn't have a brand really, but it was only a dollar. 200 sheets per roll. And disposable shavers, package of 20, one dollar. Economy special. It was called simply the shaver two. You could get a dollar roll of color print film. Back when people had cameras, you'd have to go get your film developed. Alarm clocks for four dollars each. A Cubaline travel alarm clock, hand ring. I'm gonna fold it back in, and it would look like a compact. A man's Casio LCD watch, nineteen dollars. Is that that might be the most expensive thing? We might have just hit the most expensive thing in this ad. I don't know. Let's stay tuned. Three for a dollar marshmallow pie. I'm sorry, three for two dollars marshmallow pies. Twelve ounces. There's another one, lemon. Mm. All these different candy bars. Six for a dollar. You get a marathon bar. Three musketeers. Clark. Almond Joy. What is that one? What does it say? Oh, the, the bottom one's M&M's. It says Heath. I saw it, I thought it said Heat. But that's a pretty good deal. Six for a dollar. And then they these were three for a dollar. Hershey's, Mr. Good Bar, Nestle's Crunch, and a bunch of other ones. They were a little bit bigger. Those were 1.2 ounce and that was two and a half ounce. Sure. CD calculator, strapping tape or movers tape, a dollar, pretty good, 40 yards and 35 yards, paint brushes, dollar each, and pack, package of two 9 inch paint rollers, a dollar, then we have an 8 year acrylic latex flat wall paint, Six dollars, and then they had a flat latex wall enamel, white only, both of them for four dollars. I wonder how that held up for people. 
It might have been pretty good for a while now. I'm flipping you to the apparel side because I made us a little quiz. Because I thought this was kind of cute. I'm going to have you guess the price. The uh, umbrella or nylon tote bag for $3. Oh, the tote bag was 4 The umbrella was 3 The final wind and rain poncho. They have a men's poncho and a men's coat. It was three dollars. Now, how much do you think this was? The fluffy blossom no cap wig. I'm gonna have you guess. It was eleven dollars. And then this was the versatile style Susie plus wig. These would not breathe. They were made of mod acrylic fibers. Big canvas tote bag with trim, $4. And then how much do you think this little parachute nylon swinger is? Bag, $2.50. Okay, my red, purple, blue, and tan. Girls Classic Polyester Turtlenecks or Knit Pants. We have one little girl with a blue and this little girl with a white with polka dots and red pants. Three dollars each. This is a Mrs. Polyester shirts or snacks. Acrylic slip arms or polyester pants. She's got on a cow neck and then that looks like a blouse that was popular back then. But these were four dollars each. Mrs. Brush nylon tops or polyester smock tops with the pockets. Five dollars each. We have brushed gums and acetate slash nylon. You can get a whole night gum for three dollars and a brushed acetate nylon roll for eight dollars. Nylon jacket, husky jacket for eleven dollars. And look at the little boy. Look at cute. Top boys blind parka, so these are for little guys, two through four, sixteen dollars. Little cardigan sweaters made of acrylic, three dollars each. And of course, it's the 80s, so we have to have velour tops. We have a little girl here and her little denim jeans. And again, this was little sizes, two to four, but four dollars each. Boys pull and red pull on pants, two dollars. Uh, girls two piece thermal wear with strawberry short cape, four dollars. Luggage, well, it was in a set. Steel frame vinyl luggage. They were sold in pieces going from five dollars to eight dollars each. Here's what they called a school bag. Because I don't ever remember my brother and I having backpacks. All the kids have backpacks now. My kids took backpacks to school. I do remember us having some sort of a bag like that. I think it was more of a double bag, though. But this was made of rayon, and it was $3. And they had men's gloves, two for $5. But you got six pairs because it was three pair package. Pretty good. Here's the old, this is the old uh, logo even for they changed it in one of their attempts to stay modern. But they have a six inch work boot. Doesn't say the 
brand for this, but they were $11 each. Men's and boys' joggers, and they were tracks, $7 a pair. Dress sandals, nine dollars. Those were made of polyurethane, and brushed scuffs, little house shoes for three dollars. Six pairs of socks for five dollars. Even for the men, a men's sweater for six dollars, and slacks for seven dollars. Acrylic and polyester, and we have undies. How much were the undies? A six pack for the boys for six dollars and then seven dollars for the men junior boys and boys knit shirts for two dollars and western jeans four dollars for boys four to seven and five dollars for eight to fourteen and we have a female boys for little shirts Junior boys were three dollars and the feel little guy. Eight to eighteen boys were four dollars, and then for men it was seven. For a family shirt, for the boys it was three, and for men it was four. Here's the men's poncho in the US out in there somewhere. Oh wait a minute, the women's poncho was three dollars. The men's was two. Maybe the women's was more stylish, I don't know. The three-piece rain suit, that was $3, made of vinyl, a chenille bedspread, and it looks like it came in blue and gold and green and beige for $9. A quilted print bedspread, that was $15. I thought maybe that was the most expensive thing, but it's not. It was that watch. And here's a whole little set for little boys, four to seven. You get the top and the pants for five dollars. If you were a kid in the 70s or the 80s, you had some of these. My pair that I always wore was bright, bright yellow, like yellow, like the color of the sun or the middle of an egg with the white piping. Two for five dollars. Sport socks, two pairs for three dollars. Oh, and there's a teen bag, 24 inches, five dollars. And a day pack bag or school bag. Yeah, there's something like a big bag or five dollars. Looks like a vinyl shower curtain, two dollars. Curtain panels, two for five, and then a larger drape. And, okay, these are the most expensive things if you got into the larger, you know, the 96 by 84 curtain size. These were rayon acetate super tacks. So these ranged from $3. Oh, they had a foam back, the draperies, $12. And then the larger ones up here were 22 and 28 so that kind of took over for our more, most expensive things. It's tearing. I've tried to be gentle with this, but it's tearing. I'm going to try to be so gentle with it. It's lasted this long. Why should I be the one that never lets it? So let's look at the household stuff. Now, if you're a dollar store shopper, which I'm, I, I mean, I'll go to the dollar store, but I'm not a regular. Maybe you'll become one one day, but we all know that a lot of this plastic stuff you can find at the dollar store. But let's see what you could get back then. You could get a mop, you know, that kind with a sponge that you have a metal thing that you smushed up against it to get the dirty water out, or a broom for $2. A duck mop, two for three dollars. This must have been a higher grade, or it had the pull to use your hand, where you didn't have to um, bend down for four dollars. Uh, the ironing table was eight, and the pad was two. A one quart size vacuum bottle for two dollars. A reflective plant light, ooh, 75 watts, 
plastic bottles, plastic dustpan, or ashtrays, two for a dollar. Kitchen helpers. I think I have that. I think it was my dad's. I had that exact color. Like something that you, with a handle, they come in handy. It's three quarts. Like you can mix you know, pancakes or something. And then like a three piece fake Tupperware set. It says save a dollar, so it's not really a dollar. Measuring cup set. You got two. So there were two to choose from. No, it was a set. Eight and 16 ounces for a dollar. A macrame hanger and planter. It must have been plastic if you're going to hang it in that. A dollar each. Big planter with tray. Four dollars each. Another basket for a dollar. Sixteen quart plastic case baskets for a dollar. A little tote carrier to carry things around for a dollar. Stack and stove storage bins for a dollar. Ooh. Two organizers. Oh, look at those ashtrays. You got two for a dollar. So look at that kind of ashtray with that kind of ashtray on the tray. Two pack of ice cube trays for a dollar. Eight pack of tumblers for a dollar. Or a four pack of cereal bowl. Trash cans for a dollar each. Pail or fish pan for a dollar each. This is a nylon laundry bag for two dollars. Laundry basket. Two for three. Eight piece storage food set for two dollars. More waste baskets in larger sizes or a larger pail. Two dollars. Trash cans. Two for four. A waste bin or trash can. Two for seven dollars and these are much larger. They just, the price went up and the size went up depending on what you needed. And here's the tools and stuff. The PVC tape. That's the PVC tape or the lawn roller for a dollar. Toilet plunger, save three dollars. It doesn't say how much it is. Save a dollar on the big thing of rope. Duct tape, two rolls for five dollars. Dowel, bathroom caulk, two for three dollars. Dap, acrylic caulk, each a dollar. This stuff's expensive now. That's a good deal back then. The nut driver set or a six in one screwdriver set, they were a dollar each. I knew I paid for something like this. Uh, a wrecking bar. A lot more than a dollar <laughs> a few years ago. That's one of my favorite tools though when I had to tear off uh, woodwork. And a wrench or vice pliers for two dollars. A fiberglass handle hammer. A nine piece screwdriver set. It was save a dollar. Fifty hooks and nuts and bolts. Two for a dollar. Saw or the blades for a dollar. Hooks, mm -hmm. sawhorse or shelf brackets, a dollar. Saw blade, two dollars. Rubber mallet for a dollar. Um, a utility knife with a for with a, a blade for a dollar. A C clamp, dollar each. Measuring tape and some drill bits, four dollars each. Three piece file set, two for three dollars. Eight piece saber saw blade set, save a dollar. Little bags of fasteners, different things, two for three dollars. Another rack saw, two dollars. Household cement. Oh, that's fake, isn't it? Two for a dollar, though. And none of this is really a brand. You know, if we were looking at a Sears ad, it would all be 
or this, whatever this series, um, it would be a brand. What was that? It would be Craftsman. So this is all like no name kind of stuff. But who knows? There might be people that spent a dollar on that 42 years ago and they're still uh, hacking away with it. Here's a compartment box, a utility box, a doll, a 30 drawer cabinet with a metal frame for $7. Toolbox. That is a brand name. Two combination padlocks, but again, I don't know brand. It doesn't say master. So they were probably pretty good. And a 12 inch pickup tool. A grabber, maybe? Two for a dollar. What was it? And a big and bold thermometer. Two dollars. Now, depending on how big that is, that might be a pretty good deal. So we looked at everything, didn't we? And my favorite item of this whole ad are the wheels. They just are. I don't think I ever knew anybody that wore these wigs. Because back then I wouldn't have known any difference because I didn't really pay any attention to anything. It was just a team. Oh, just a kid. Yeah. Thank you for watching my video. And remember, you came out with me with their very good prices. Huh? I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.